Hi, I'm David Allen Moore. You're about to watch a lesson from my full-length course available exclusively at discoverdoublebase.com. When it comes to intonation strategies, building an internal map of the fingerboard is a crucial component of that. And so I'd like to introduce you to something um, calling the phantom hand exercise. So it's not nearly as sinister as it sounds, but um, hopefully it will open your eyes to some ways of thinking about the fingerboard. So what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to do an A major scale, one octave on the G string. Um, I thought about doing G just to keep it on the more straightforward side, but I do like the idea of having the sympathetic resonance of the A to relate to the, the pitches that we're playing. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to play each note and go up a step and then overlap on the last note that we've played and then play the next note. So the beginning of that is going to be A to B and then B to C sharp and then C sharp to D. So we'll go up the whole scale like that playing the two notes in position, overlapping the last note that you played in the old position with the new position and continuing up the scale. I'm trying to be aware of where all my fingers are all the time, so no flyaway or unaccounted for fingers. And I'm really matching both the, the location and the sound of the note that I've o I'm overlapping. So, um, of course, always listening, but if you have access to a mirror, um, looking to see that I'm actually covering to that same spot with the new finger. Uh, if you don't have access to a mirror, get one. It's a fairly inexpensive way to accelerate your improvement. Now we'll do that and we're going to finger through the exact same scale, but I'm going to leave out every other one. So that's going to look like this. So it's exactly the same. I'm just only playing every other one of those. Now I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to think about the ones that I'm not playing. I'm going to try to visualize in as much detail as possible. So thinking about it physically, hearing those pitches, feeling what it would feel like inside, but not actually doing it. Okay, now we're going to do it one more time and we're going to overlap the visualizing with the playing. So as I'm playing here, I'm thinking about that link. And I'm just going to play straight through the scale. You'll notice at the end when I get to 2-3, just like in the preparation, that my thumb is on F sharp. So I've got that whole hand position in place, even though I'm only playing the, the two, three on top there. If you've enjoyed this video, we go into much broader and deeper topics in the full-length course available exclusively at discoverdoublebase.com.